In this question, we are given some data from a tension test on AISI 4140 steel. And it wants us to find elastic modulus, 0.2% offset yield strength, ultimate tensile strength, percent elongation and percent reduction in area. Let's start with the elastic modulus. We know that for given two points, for example, suppose that they are A and B. The elastic modulus is sigma A minus sigma B, which are stresses, and strain at A minus strain at B. When we look at the tables, I will choose the first two points to calculate these values because I want them to be smaller than the yield strength, the stresses. So the most safe part will be the first two points. So for the point A, I will have 202 for the stress and for B it is 0. And for uh, elongation at A, I will be using 0.099%. But since it's percent, I will divide it by 100, which will give me this, and again minus 0. In real life, uh, this curve usually doesn't st start from 0 to 0. But since we are given this data, we can use these points to calculate Young's modulus. So when we calculate this, we get a Young's modulus of 204.04 GK. So, we are done with elastic modulus. Let's start with the 0.2% offset yield strength. To find the yield strength, we should draw a parallel line to the curve starting from 0.2% elongation point. I already drew this um, parallel line and I saw that uh, the point where the parallel line intersects, intersects with the curve is 830 MPa. So I can say that 0.2% offset yield strength is approximately 830 MPa. So, we can talk about the ultimate tensile strength now. To find the ultimate tensile strength, we need to look for the maximum stress value in the data. And when we look at the data, we saw that 918 is the maximum stress value and it is the point where necking starts. And we will uh, take this as the ultimate strength, uh, ultimate tensile strength value. And we can write it as, write it as this. So we will now calculate percent elongation. In the book, on page 80, we have an equation which is 3.7. And it tells us that percent elongation after fracture is equal to Elongation at fracture minus fractured strength over Young's modulus times 100. So we know the elongation at fracture, which is 20.35%. And now we know the uh, fractured strength and it is 918 megapascals. We also calculated Young's modulus in the previous part, so we can easily calculate the 
percent elongation after fracture. Let's substitute these values. Since again it's a percentage, I will divide it by 100 minus, we know that this is 918 over, and I will write it as megapascal, the Young's modulus. So, from here, we get the percent elongation after fracture as 19.9%. And we also know that the percent elongation at fracture is 20.9%. So, we are also done with these parts. Let's find the percent reduction in area. Which is percent RA. We know that the percent reduction in area is the initial area square minus final area square over, again, initial area square, and we will multiply it by 100 to find the percent value. So we can use diameters in this equation. We know that the initial diameter is 9.09 .09 millimeters and the final diameter is 5.56 millimeters. Let's substitute these values into the equation. And when we make the calculations, we obtain percent reduction in area as 69.59%. And we are done with the solution.